that wind and rapidly dropping temperatures, you know, it's a dangerous combination for your pipes. So the question becomes, what can you do about it? Well, News 12 Connecticut's John Craven talked to a plumber who says a little preparation tonight can save you a lot of money. At Westport Plumbing and Heating, they're preparing for a flood, a flood of calls. But a few simple steps can avoid an expensive repair. Depending on how many breaks there are, anywhere from $500 to $1,000, depending on how much damage there is. First, insulate your pipes. So you want to make sure you get the split with stuff so you don't have to cut it. What you want to do is you want to put it over your pipe like that and peel the tabs back and just stick it together. Next, check your basement storm windows. If you don't have your windows locked out or secure like I do, the window can blow open. Owner Frank Kali says most pipes freeze because of the wind. Finally, check your boiler. You know, the worst part about it is it could shut off, and then if nobody's home, then the house is going to freeze because you have no heat. No heat means the pipes in your walls could burst. Those are the most expensive to reach. And speaking of heat, if you're going to be away for the holidays, resist the urge to turn your thermostat way down. Keep it at at least 65 to protect your pipes. <laughs> And don't run your faucet. If your drain backs up, it could actually flood your whole house. If you're going to be away, Kalis actually recommends shutting off the water to your whole house. You have to go into the basement and just find a water main and shut the handle off, and that's all you do. An even better option is an emergency shutoff valve. If it detects a leak, not only does it turn the water off, it even notifies you on your phone. Always to keep your pipes flowing and keep your plumber's phone from ringing when the temperatures drop this holiday. In Westport, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut. Most older homes have brass pipes that are particularly vulnerable. Uh, Kalise suggests replacing them with copper or PVC.